The plan was to get 70 mining and 70 smithing. Boy, I really had no idea what I was getting myself into. Little did I know, it would take tens of thousands of ores to complete such a task. I was ready though. <laughs> Dibs, it's all mine. Don't worry, I'll leave plenty of copper and tin behind for the rest of you. I'm just here for the Varaxite, y'all can have the rest. Where did you all come from? Get your hands off that Varaxite, you fiend! Back up, bud! Who's stitching my butt? Help! When my journey began, I had high hopes. I knew I would accomplish my goal of level 70 mining and smithing by the end of the weekend, starting from scratch because I knew I was going to grind as hard as I had to in order to get what I wanted. It's doable in a weekend, but you'll have to grind very, very hard. I was mining, then I was smithing, back and forth, over and over again, forcing myself to learn how to get to 70 mining and smithing fast. I picked up useful habits along the way, and I learned the proper mindset to use while mining. At first, it was easy. Then it became difficult. Then it became easy again. I had learned that I need to just keep mining. Just. Keep. Mining. It'll feel great when you buy a pick upgrade, or when you have stacks of a thousand ore in your storage, ready to be smelted, or when you have 100 bars ready to be smithed and you get to watch the smithing experience fly up. But there will be times when you want to give up. Multiple times. You have to push those feelings aside. And be willing to go where no miner has ever gone before. Okay, I might be getting carried away, but really, this is going to take some serious dedication because the grind is real. So let me share with you the valuable information I learned on my journey to 70 mining and smithing so you can have an easier time putting in the necessary dedication. Mining is much easier to level, so it's a very viable strategy to just be a miner and sell your ores for a profit. There will be various useful links in the description, including TCK's pricing sheet, which will teach you the rough estimates of the prices for every item in the game. Also, check out every miner's best friend, the ore map, in the description. With these tools, you have everything you need to start making millions with just mining. There's so many ways you can go about this. I personally mined and smithed everything myself, but alternatively, you could spend a long time mining first, become rich from selling ores, and use your wealth to buy bars to blast through smithing in a quick burst once you're finally rich enough. Whatever you decide to do, just remember, I'm taking credit for pointing you in the right direction, so you better subscribe! All strategies are viable, but of course they'll play out very differently. If you go with just mining, you'll experience a much more fast-paced game, as it doesn't take long to get mining to 70, and you'll have more than enough money to buy all the gear you need up until at least level 70 to 75. Or, if you take on smithing as well, then you'll have a much more slow-paced game, that will pay off greatly in the end if your dedication does not falter. Only smiths with the highest degree of ambition will reach level 90 and thus be able to produce the greatest and coolest looking armor and weapons in the game, the legendary Umbral Equipment, which can only be obtained through smithing. Umbral armor is not obtainable through trade, so unless you're a smith, you will never wear it. So let's get you smithing right so you can get there sooner. Smithing experience is distributed on a per bar basis, meaning you don't need to worry about which item you are creating in order to try to get the most experience. Each bar used in smithing gives you a set amount, so craft whatever has the most potential for returning profit. At Crimsteel and below, just craft whatever you can until you unlock swords. Then craft those because they sell for the most and they will consume all bars in your bag without leaving any behind. Once you start making mythin, you will have to create a surplus of boots until you can make picks. Don't make any mythin swords. 
Continue making picks until you can make helmets. Now make as many Mythen sets as you can. Sets do not include any weapons. Cobalt is simple. Just make as many sets as you can. There will be a time when you ask yourself, should I buy coal so I can spend my time mining more valuable ore? Unless you're rich already, the answer is no. You're going to need thousands and thousands of coal. Buying 1k for 500 to 700k now isn't going to do a lot for you when you're already broke to begin with. You can mine coal very quickly, so I recommend getting it for yourself. Now you have access to all the tools and information that I used to get both mining and smithing to 70. So what will you do now? Are you going to use the just mining strategy? Or will you become a master smith as well? Should I make a clan? Would you join it if I did? Thank you so much for the likes, comments, and subscriptions. The recent feedback I've received from the amazing Curse of Eros community has been so refreshing. I hope I can continue to provide great content for you. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Also, you can check out some of my other videos.